Hey everybody, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. An exciting day for the off-grid homestead here. Uh, got 20 solar panels delivered. You might hear the truck in the background just pulling out. These were cracked solar panels, but I paid a minimal price. Very minimal. Whoa, they're hot. They're definitely getting hot. Solar panels get hot in the sun. Anyway, so I've got, I bought broken solar panels, so every single one of them has cracked glass, but the price was insanely low. They should still function between 90 to 100 um, percent, long as they weren't broken in shipping. Which, by the way, a couple were. The um, top of the case, somebody had set a pallet on the pallet. Um, the truck driver told me they probably thought it was uh, shelving or something. Because it looks just like shelving. So somebody set a pallet on the pallet, which then crushed and demolished a panel. But you can see how they wouldn't know what that is. If you don't know what that is, and you know, and it wasn't marked as fragile. So what we got, see that one is wrecked beyond usefulness. And the other one was crushed in uh, from this one laying on it. It was broke. But they're going to cover me on that. So we'll, we took off the first few, he helped me out, it was kind of him, and uh, check things out. Now these were probably hail damaged, I don't know, because there is some, uh, some little bit of rust. Um, I, they they were, had been installed on a house for five years and then removed, and I was told they were, well I was told actually they were damaged in shipping and removal, but that rust tells me those were broken for a while, so I don't know what's the deal with that. But anyway, I have a broken solar panel I've used for four years now without any protection on it, and it's just fine. So my idea, I'm going to get the voltmeter out. But I forgot the tripod at the office, and so here I am. So um, it's going to be awkward showing you, but I'm going to measure the output of these couple of these panels before I head back to the office. But um, they should put out their full voltage, their full rated voltage. And then I'm going to experiment with different techniques for protecting and sealing these from the elements. Now again, they'll last for years as is. I've got one four years old sitting out in the sun unprotected, working fine. I figured when it got broke back in the day, I figured, well, you know, use it until it dies. But um, it never died, so... They are pretty durable even after being broke. Again, they're all, they've all got a little bit of uh, corrosion inside, so they've all been exposed for a while, is my guess. Or maybe they've been outside for a little while after they were packed on the pallet. But I guess I can find their whole story if I want. I can call the company. Anyway, this comes from a professional solar power company and finally arrived here at the off grid homestead. This is 4.9 kilowatts of solar panels, almost 5,000 watts of power. And, well, shy of two panels. Uh, so we're missing 600, uh, 235 a piece, I think. Uh, oh, 245 watts a piece, okay. So they, I'm missing 500 watts of solar power, sadly, but yeah, they'll probably get replaced for me or something. So I'll eventually get them. And it's going to take me time to build this stuff up. <laughs> this, is, this is going to take time and money to put this together. All right, well, I'm going to go get a voltmeter and uh, check these out. And then I'm going to get wrapped up. Uh, get them wrapped up because although it's beautiful right now, it's supposed to rain in a few hours. And uh, I don't want them to get damaged any worse than they are. So, I'm going to take care of that. Okay, I just laid this panel over, and it's hitting 35 volts on the meter right now. Okay. Uh, and this one has corrosion in there, so it's still working. That's not damaged anything yet. Not completely. If I get these washed and coated, and uh, protected from the elements before it's too late, will be good because these are open voltage hitting 35 volts 
and they're rated at 37.4 so we got a little bit of clouds and stuff so I think that's pretty good really good I'm curious what this broken destroyed one will do even though it's absolutely demolished let me get that out yeah that one's wrecked wrecked 10.75 volts that one's absolutely demolished so uh, definitely see that's what happened when somebody set a pallet on top of a pallet of solar panels and that one's de destroyed I'm gonna flip the other one over this one has some damage uh, from the other panel crushing it so let me put the camera down I'll flip it over and measure it all right, it's still putting out 34 volts, but it's smashed bad. Over here, that other solar panel has smashed here. It's pushed, the glass is missing and it's indented right here. This one is smashed right down and there's nothing even left here. So I'm sure it's a reduced power output. And you can see the, here you can see the glass is okay. And here you can see it's absolutely white and shattered and indented from the solar panel above it having pushed into it. So this one is not going to be included in the normal array. And that one at only 10 volts is going to be good for some experiments and low low energy product or projects. But that's about it. While I was waiting on the truck to arrive, I jacked up the back of the camper a bit uh, to level it off some. And I managed to get the door in place to a certain extent. Uh oh, my board fell over. Um, the wind is blowing. I managed to get the door in, but oddly, it's wide at the bottom, wide at the top, and crushed in at the middle, so it's sort of stuck. I hope that's not hurting anything. Okay. I had to undo all my boards, so nothing is holding up in here. That one fell, but he'll be fine for now. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll finish this when I get back tonight. But I got the door in, I just have to figure out why it's crushed here. Very strange. It's crushed in the middle. Um, I had to undo anything fastening to the top of the camper though, so I could swing that in place to get that where it belongs. And then I can get the seals on and, and uh, get a lock in there and get latches and alarms and security. And then I'll have myself a cryptocurrency mining shack. So, I'm going to... Zip these clothes, seal it up, so if it rains, that won't get damaged. But I did that waiting on that truck. So I've got to cover these up and get back to the office. And uh, that's it for now. But it's really exciting. Up to 5,000 watts of solar panels at the off-grid homestead. All right. I gotta clean this up. I'll talk to you all later.